everyone. How is it April already? I hope you have had an awesome quarter three. For those that are new to the channel, hi, I'm Silver. I love to highlight all those that enter FOs in the logs that I host. You'll actually see the FOs and all of that for the Pride Along in just a little bit. This wrap up video is going to be a little bit different as I'm going to show off all the prizes and go over the rules of the along instead of in the main episode that hopefully might eventually go up. I don't know. Anyway, this along does run from May 17th of 2021 and goes until the end of June 2022. We're going to be using the hashtag SDL Pride Along 2122, also hashtag MC Pride Along 2122, GGKCS Pride Along 2122, also AK Pride Along 2122. We do have WS Pride Along 2122, or if you'd like to encompass all of our wonderful donors and co-hosts, please go ahead and use the hashtag Pride Along 2122 on all social media platforms. Okay, a few ways to play. You can either knit the progression shawl by Karen Risinger, or you can actually crochet the quick and simple granny shawl by Hannah Owens. If you would like, you can also use any pride colorway, including but not exclusively like rainbow colorways, gender fluid colorways, as well as intersex, trans colorways, etc. If you do a knit, crochet, stitch, or even diamond paint any uh, pride flag whatsoever, it does count. Say, for example, you use blocks of color to represent the flags in a shawl or other items do count as well. If you use the pattern with the word pride or proud in it, it does count as well. Please include the name of the design, the designer, and link. If you can't find one other than wrap, that's fine. Just make sure that you make a notation that it is that, that link is actually going to Ravelry. So you know you will actually get double entries if you knit the progression shawl with the pride colorway or if you make a pride flag while knitting the progression shawl. You will also get double entries if you crochet the quick and simple granny shawl with a pride colorway or making a rainbow or a pride rainbow flag while crocheting the quick and simple granny shawl. Basically, anything with rainbows in it counts as well. Okay, let's talk prizes. It's exactly what you're here for, right? Well, the first one up is we are giving away a copy of CC and Dammy's Job like of Job World Designs. Their wonderful Catch the Rainbow Socks is a prize to one lucky winner every month. I'll go ahead and I'll put the link down below. Uh, they do use Etsy or Bayhip. Um, they're no longer on Ravelry. Uh, let's see. Also, Job Pearl Designs has also donated a copy of the winner's choice of CC and Dammy's every month as well. Um, like I said, this will be your choice. Uh, you can find all of the choices on www.jobforproldesigns.com backslash patterns. Every quarter, I'm also going to be giving away one free copy of my Proud to Be Me shawl pattern, which is, like I said, is given away per quarter. Mercury Zelda has also offered one of her wonderful paid patterns per quarter. Her shop can actually be found at www.mercurialknits.com backslash shop. And there's also going to be two of her wonderful patterns given away at the very end of the long. Okay, let's talk some physical prizes. Cher and her hubby of the Meditative Crafting Podcast will be giving away a board game called Arch Ravels. And since I don't have that handy, I'm just going to give you, show you the picture here. We're also going to be giving away a skein of Desert Vista Dye Works yarn in the Mother of All Somebody Queens. It's an eight striper yarn. Oh, I absolutely love the colorway. Let's see, we're also going to be giving away a skein of yarn from Nice and Knit in the Times Square colorway on their fingering base. Also going to be giving away a skein of yarn from Sweet Georgia Yarns in the Rainbow Sprinkles colorway. Also giving away two sets of Rainbow Progress Keeper and Stitch Marker sets donated by Adorn Knit. Um, also a set of Large Rainbow Progress and Keeper, sorry, and Stitch Marker set that's also included a small cute little heart that was also donated by Adorn Knit. Rick from Whimsy Stitches Designs has actually donated two sets of the Rainbow Pride Sheep Enamel Pin and Rainbow Unicorn Progress Keeper as a kit to set up put together. We're also going to be giving away a combo of Pride Rainbow Bag and Progress Keeper also from Whimsy Stitches. 
And finally, for whimsy stitches, we do have a set of 30 rainbow silicone markers, or well, rings, and progress rainbow keeper. We're also going to be giving away a pride crochet pride shawl made by me. This again was the quick and simple granny shawl by Hannah Owens. I love how this came out. I'm jealous of the winner. We're also going to be giving away a copy of A Wild and Precious Life by Evie Windsor. Ugh. Okay, anyway. Either way, if you'd like to go ahead and donate a prize, you can go ahead and PM me or you can even email me directly at silversdreamland at gmail.com. All right, I've actually gone ahead and put together a few videos of me picking the winners for the long, basically to speed this video up as much as I possibly can. A note on these, if you can go ahead and send me a PM or email with which prize you won with an email or or whatever that you would like me to go ahead and send the prize to. I definitely would appreciate it. Okay, let's draw for the Catch of the Rainbow Socks by Job Pearl Designs for the month of January. As you can see here, I do have entries up until all the dead bins, so that goes 1 to 11 into random. Winner is number 10 in January, who was number 10 was Linda C. So, congratulations! I'll also be breaking this down in a title card in the video, too, just in case this is not your thing to look through the video. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's pick one for February. Go, also, we have number. Seven games. Seven is Linda E. Okay, we'll do one more from March. Number nine. I'm writing this into the document that I'm going to be putting for later. Anyway, uh number nine is Meditative Crafter, so congratulations. If you guys can get in contact with me, uh, um, I can actually send that right over to you via email or whatever you'd like. If you haven't already had the pattern, go ahead and just let me know what other um, job of full design pattern you would like and I'll go ahead and send something to you. Next up, let's draw for the Java Pearl Designs pattern of the winner's choice. Alright, as you can see, we have that. Also, 1 through 11 still. Yep, go for it. Alright, number 8 on that one. I'm actually just going to draw all the numbers now and then I'll fill in who is each and then I'll put a title card later. Alright, so that was number 7. And then one more. Ah, number 4. Okay, for the winner for March, let's see, let's go look, for post number eight, post number eight was Meditative Crafter, okay, number seven was Linda E, uh, let's see, and post number four was also Meditative Crafter, awesome, cool. If you can go ahead and just contact me, me with which job pole design pattern you would like, I will have that sent right over to you. All right, let's draw for this quarter's My Proud to Me Me Shawl pattern. This is going to be for everyone. Let's do regenerate. Ooh, post number one. Let's see. Post number one is Linda E. So congratulations. If you can definitely send me a message, I will go ahead and send it over to you as soon as I possibly can.
we're gonna go ahead and move on to the pattern from Mercury's Open. Okay, let's see. Also, again, we're going through 11. Number to number two is down three. Two is also Lindy. So Lindy E, you can actually go ahead and just contact me directly with which pattern that you would like off of Mercury Zelda's website. I will go ahead and put all of the links to the shops that I'm mentioning below. So that way you can go ahead and select. entered FOs in quarter three. So please join me in celebrating the accomplishments of Linda C and meditative crafting. So congratulations everyone for entering your FOs. Okay, with this, I'm gonna go ahead and show off everyone's projects. I do understand if you don't wish to watch through the full slideshow, as sometimes my slideshows can get pretty long. Just so you know, I know this one's relatively short, so, but either way, if you don't want to, that's fine. I will go ahead and catch you in the next episode. If you made it through the entire video, I really do appreciate you. So thank you for joining me for the Pride Along 2122. With that, I'm going to say adieu until the end of quarter four. See ya later.